So we are going to make crab ragoons. So I'm going to get the things that we need to um, make these, if I can find everything. I'm going to get a drink. Okay, so first off, we need a block of cheese. But, how many wontons are in these? Mm, does not say, but this is for 15 wontons. We're going to do 30. So, I'm going to use, I'm just going to double everything. So, here we go. Let me get a bowl. So we need this bowl, we need some water, and then I'll do the grease and all that. So what you got to do first off is, I need a knife. So I'm opening it up here. So I'm doubling, guys. So what I'm making will make 15. If you want less than that, then you can take away a block of cheese and do everything um, less. So I'm putting two blocks of cream cheese. So we're going to flop this in there because this is already softened. Even though I got it out of the fridge, our um, cream cheese is soft. If I can get it out of the package. Come on. There we go. Okay, let me get the rest of this off. You don't want to be wasteful, guys. You want to get every little bit you can get. Hope you guys are having a great day. One of M's favorites is crab ragoons. When we order um, Chinese, and she actually found this recipe, so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, I have used other ones. Most of them are mainly, I feel, the same. So I'm just opening up another block. It says eight ounce. How many ounces are these? These are 16, so. Oh Lord, then we're gonna be tripling it because one block, it says eight ounces, and our blocks are 16 ounces. <laughs> so we are going to be making extra, which is fine, um, because as I said, we like crab ragoons. And we can have leftovers. And I usually put a lot in my wontons, probably more than what I'm supposed to, so 
no worries over here. It's my fault. I read the recipe. It says one block. So I was thinking one block is the same size as the block I have. But it's saying one block eight ounces and my blocks are 16 ounces. And my dad loves ragoons as well. So none of these will go to waste. I can promise you that. Okay, now we got all of that in there. So let me throw this away before it ends up on the floor. Okay, so instead of eight ounces, we have thirty-two ounces because I did two blocks thinking that it was eight ounces. So there's that. Now a teaspoon of sugar. So let me find my sugar bowl. We're going to get a teaspoon. So it's saying one teaspoon of sugar, so that means I'm going to have to put four. One, two, three, four. So, guys, I will put the recipe that M um, printed off instead of the exact amount that I'm making because you guys may not want this many, this much. Okay, I need a pinch of salt, which in this case, it's gonna be four pinches of salt. So there's one, two, three, four, good enough. Then we need our crab sticks. Now I'll show you guys the crab sticks that I got. And these aren't going to have a lot of crab in them because you're supposed to have six crab sticks for this recipe. And I've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I would have liked to have had another pack, but again, we work with what we got. So let's chop up this crab. So I'm just going to open them. And you guys, these aren't that expensive. Um, these imitation um, crab sticks at Walmart. I believe I paid 99 cents. So there's those. And we're going to cut these very finely. Um so that we have some crab in there. So I'm just gonna cut them up the best that I can. Now, you can either leave it like this, or you can add other spices to it, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder. I'm going to put some Worcestershire sauce. I'm not going to put green onions, but you could, and you also could put sriracha 
but um, me and spicy don't do good, so we're not doing that today. But if you guys like it that way, go for it. So we got this chopped up. And then once I get this mixed, I'm going to put them together and then I will get the grease ready. Now, you could do these in your air fryer, I'm sure. Um, but I'm going to stick to what the recipe says. Okay, so there is that. I'm gonna put that right in there. And it says that you can you can use uh, lump crab. I don't know what lump crab is, um, but it says you can use that as well. I am also going to be doing strawberry shortcake um, in a video here within the next couple of days. But you guys got to give me time because I don't want to load all kinds of cooking videos back to back to back. I don't want people thinking I'm a cooking channel. We just like doing a bunch of different things over here. So I'm just trying to get these cut up as good as I can. Trying to hold it so it don't go flying off the plate. All right. So now we're going to put this in there. Then I'm going to take all of this. When you're adding Worcestershire sauce and things like that, it's pretty much to your liking. This does not have a um, thing saying how much how much um, sauce. Why am I saying Worcestershire? Yeah, it's Worcestershire and soy sauce. So we got soy sauce. And we've got Worcestershire sauce somewhere, if I can find it. Maybe we don't, but I thought we did. That soy sauce, that steak sauce. Where is my Worcestershire sauce? Oh, it's right here, I bet. It sure is. All the bottles look alike, guys. So, I'm going to take a fork. And I'm going to try to get all of this off of here. And we're going to get it mixed in here a tiny bit. And I'll let you guys see what's going on over here. So... This is what we're looking like. Now, I'm probably going to have to let this um, sit out for a few minutes. 
but you guys won't know because it's a video it will be a speed of lightning to you guys okay so I'm going to add some of my Worcestershire sauce Worcestershire Worcestershire however you pronounce it just a dabble will do that's what I did and then we're gonna add some soy sauce put in there and then we're going to put some garlic powder and I'm gonna put some onion powder just like so so it looks like this guys and then I'm just gonna keep mixing so I will be back as soon as I get this all mixed in here good and can show you guys what it looks like after it's all stirred up hey guys I'm back okay so I have my oil heating over here and I'm using uh, canola oil you can use whatever oil that you want to use I do have a thing of water here so that I can um, go around the outside of the wonton um, this is what it looks like all mixed so let's open these up now the wontons that I got I'm not sure if they're all like this um, I did them through a delivery through Walmart so I'm using these kind and then what I do is you just take one out well I got two but you only need one I take mine out and then I dunk my fingers in the water and I just go right around the edge and then I'm going to take some of my mixture that's going to be too much so I took some of my mixture and then I try to press it down a little bit and then I bring this up and then I put too much but that's okay and then I bring up these I didn't do a very good job closing it guys because I overfilled it but we will the next one so here we go let's try this again as I said it's been a very long time since I've made these and I have a tendency of putting way too much so we're gonna pinch here and pinch here so that they kind of meet just like so just like that guys that's how it should look again same thing so I'm just gonna show you guys one more time and then I'm gonna do the rest off of camera because I don't want to take that long of the video and then I'll show you guys like when I get it into the grease and all of that so again you're just gonna pinch just like so just like that nothing fancy okay and I'm just gonna continue that same process okay guys so we're gonna get the rolls started here so we got these done and I'm gonna drop them in the grease. Okay. 
M is making a way while I do these because we didn't want the video to be too long for you guys. Um, okay, now what I have here is a paper plate and as you guys can see it's not going to take long at all. This one is already dark. And I don't want them burnt. Oh crap, I think my thing's burning. Can you get me that metal thing that I used earlier? Yeah, I'm burning this. How am I gonna pick it out with that? Give me that right there, right there, quick, quick. Before we burn it. This is a nightmare. Guys, don't ever use plastic. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Okay. So, we got these. Now, I'm going to turn this grease down. And we're going to do some more. Um, there's that. Let's turn this grease down a little bit. Wow, them cooked quick. Sorry, guys. My plastic thing was <laughs> melting so we're going to make some more and I have been using my hands like this my hands are clean so and then I just squeeze squeeze and then push them together like so just like that And in it goes. So we'll do a couple more for you guys. And then... Oops. I did turn the grease down. So right now, you guys, I have my grease on medium. I had it on high. So let's get this one out. Look at how good that looks. Yummy, yummy for my tummy, tummy. All right, there's that. And we're going to take these ones out. Because I don't want them too dark. going to press, press, just like so, throw it in there, throw it in there, and you can tell when they're done because they kind of come up to the top and start floating. So... said guys we have them going straight on to a paper towel to catch any excess um, grease another thing M likes is um, our Chinese restaurant and I like it too um, 
they do something like this and they bake it and they put cheese on it That's and they don't use process. the and they don't use the wontons the only thing I gotta say is you gotta be careful because you gotta rip them apart And then in a second, I'm gonna have M try one once they've cooled down some, and I'll try one. And then we'll let you guys know how they are. Now, I would prefer to use the air fryer. Okay, I'm going to have M try it, and then we will end the video. You guys get the gist of it. You don't need me to watch me to make a gazillion, um, because obviously we did a great big batch. And we're not even done yet. So, M, you can take one. Take one that's a little cooled off right here. Try it for them. It's crunchy. I hear the crunch crunch. I really like these. She really likes them. So, you guys seen how we did that? Remember, if you like our content, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. With that being said, be kind, stay safe, be blessed, and me or M will catch you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.